QR code phishing is also a hot topic right now. Matt, you want to take us through this scam? Oh, yeah, I'd love to. So this is a, a scam that just happened pretty recently. This was uh, thieves that were putting QR codes on parking meters. If, if you've parked in a big city, you know that there are uh, there are electronic parking meters all over the place. And if you want to pay, you normally pay through an app or something along those lines. So thieves were putting those QR codes onto the evil parking meters. And the, the QR codes were redirecting off to a fraudulent payment website, something that looked kind of like the uh, either the passport application or, you know, something else that you would consider to be familiar if you're uh, if you're paying via mobile app. But instead, these were complete phishing sites. They were looking at stealing things like credit card information. They were looking at taking fraudulent payments. Now, right now, uh, authorities have actually removed all of the stickers that were, were responsible for this specific kind of fraud, and they are investigating. But this is just kind of the tip of the iceberg. I mean, we see QR codes all over the place, and this is not the first time that we've seen a malicious QR code just planted on something very, very innocuous out in public. Because you can't just tell where a QR code is going to go by looking at it, unless you're really, really good at reading exactly how QR codes are put together. I'm not that good at it. I doubt you guys are either. So we we end up with this uh, this certain level of trust. But yeah, it's uh, it's going to be something that we see as a a trend moving forward, a very kind of public and very easy to fall for scam. Yeah, watch out everybody for fake QR codes. So there's a lot of different kinds of AI attacks targeting your mobile devices, everything from custom mobile phishing pages to mobile malware to lookalike applications to information stealing chatbots. So again, just beware and expect them to be targeting your mobile phone or other devices. Thank you so much, everyone. Again, this is Sherry Davidoff, CEO of LMG Security. And I'm Matt Duran, Director of Training and Research for LMG Security. If you have any questions, please feel free to reach out at any time. We would love to hear from you. You can reach us at info at lmgsecurity.com, find us on LinkedIn, or follow us on Twitter. Thanks again for joining, and we'll see you next time.